Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here. Ooh, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekend reading. So this is from the 14th to the 16th of July, 2023. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. Always grateful for every single one of you. Let's see what we've got for your weekend. We do have a new moon coming in on Monday. Your weekly readings um, will be posted tomorrow. So don't forget to check those out and uh, new moon readings will be up for you guys as well. I'm just downloading the videos right now. They're just taking a little bit of time to come in. So don't forget to check out all of those things. But let's see what we've got for you guys in your weekend. I got a little bit of a jumper. I'll read that in a second. We have the staff energy stability. So some of you might be feeling a little bit more solid and stable in your weekend. We've had a lot of upsy-dervy, ups and down kind of topsy-turvy energy. So maybe you're feeling just a little bit more grounded and secure in your world on your weekend. Some of you are looking for more stability in your life. How, what can I do to, um, you know, make things feel a little less out of control? What can I do to bring in stability here? Is it something in your work, something in your money, something in your relationships? So this could be, you know, you're really focused on resolving issues or, you know, making some positive changes so that you feel a little bit more safe and solid and secure um, in your world in wherever that means for you. Not a bad uh, not a bad place to put some of your energy and some of your attention. Things have been a little bit topsy-turvy. Things have been a little bit, oof, you know, uh, you know, it's like waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like what in the world is coming out next? Okay. So um, focus on that. Staff, of course, gives you stability, right? So some of you could just be feeling a little bit more solid this weekend and you might be just feeling like, ah, oh, I'm feeling a lot better than I have been, okay? So we have what's jumping out of here. We have Letha coming in here with intensification. So something could be <laughs> something could be heating up for you, okay? Um, so this can be a relationship that heats up a little bit, okay? Or maybe you're just feeling a little bit more passion um, about something in your life, right? So when things uh, come in with this burning fire, this intensity, okay? It doesn't necessarily bring anything good or bad, right? It's just something that is like, woo, this is super powerful. But this can bring in this energy where something is coming to fruition for you, okay? Maybe you get an answer that you've been looking for. Perhaps you, if, if all you wanted was to spend a little bit more time alone, just sit out on your balcony on the, on the weekend, enjoy a glass of wine, maybe the company of some friends, okay, this is coming to fruition for you. But this is also bringing the energy, okay, where things are heating up. You're about to level up in some way or you have the potential to level up in some way and improve your circumstances and maybe bring more stability in your life. And because we're starting to feel the new moon energy as we come into the weekend the new moon's on monday the 17th okay so but we do feel that uh you know about three days before three days after is um at the height of that energy so you might be you know having a look and saying okay what do i want to blossom in my life because wherever you put your intentions right now right you can manifest something and bring something to reality for yourself there, right? This is a time of growth. This is a time of achievement for you and, uh, you know, following your passion and just being really positive about things. Okay. So things are heating up for you. The energy is loud and it is strong. And this can just be, again, just be you feeling a little bit more confident and feeling like, Oh, I'm feeling good right about now, right? So instead of being skeptical and waiting for the other shoe to drop, you're feeling a lot more positive. But there could be some passion and fire in the air for you this weekend in some way as well. We've got the Three of Wands, the Four of Cups, and we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so I think for some of you here, there is, you're looking for growth, you're looking to move forward with something, and um, maybe there's a little bit of uncertainty or you're doing a little bit of reflection there to figure out what do I want? Where do I want to go? What's going to make me happy? 
What brings me stability and security in my life and how do I get things done? Because the three of wands, we figure things out, we start with a plan and then we're open to new experiences and we're ready for action, okay? For some of you here with the three of wands, the four of cups, the seven of cups, I think that there's some sort of dream or something coming to fruition for you, okay? And something that maybe you forgot about or something that maybe you were just starting to think, oh, this is never gonna change, this is never gonna happen, I'm never gonna find this opportunity okay but ultimately spirit is bringing you a gift right but you need to be ready for action so the three of wands ready for action the four of cups keep an open mind keep an open heart because sometimes what's coming in requires us to seven of cups use our imagination a little bit okay and to really think about the potential that something may have for us right because of course when we do have things that come to fruition for us right we're opening the doors of opportunity we're receiving a gift and sometimes that gift comes in the form of a seed of inspiration or it comes as an opportunity that we may find but we need to take some action or initiative to bring it to fruition right to see it through to the finish line it's like spirit saying i'm handing you the torch right the stability energy we've got that staff okay i'm handing you the torch and it's up to you to take it to the finish line and of course sometimes in our human experience we just want everything right here right now we don't want to do work for it right but it's you know co-creating with the universe so you know it's like here i'm helping you you need to help yourself now so there may be something here where you do need to use your imagination where you do need to look at the potential and you do need to keep an open mind now, for some of you here in this energy, the Three of Wands, maybe you're making some travel plans, right? Because this can be about going out on an adventure, right? You've made some plans, you're ready to go, and then the Four of Cups, maybe there's something here that is a little bit unexpected because the Four of Cups can possibly bring in something that you weren't expecting or something isn't quite going your way with those Three Cups right there. It's like a woe is me, like, oh my God, it's not working out. And then someone brings a solution or you find a solution to something. So if you've got some travel plans or something, um, you know, maybe you are traveling this weekend or maybe you're just planning for it. There's something here that's just not quite right. Something here that's just, uh, oh man, we've forgotten something, right? Because maybe you can leave something behind. Okay. Um, um, but then you resolve it, right? You find some issue, you find some answers there or someone comes and helps you in this energy okay the seven of cups here right keep your options open this is really leading us up to towards the end of the weekend so perhaps you're thinking about here in the seven of cups you're using your imagination you're thinking what do i want in my life what do i want to attract in my life right four of cups right something coming in what do i want to attract in my life that's going to bring me happiness and joy or that's going to enhance my world for the better and so this can be you really focusing on that setting some intention setting some goals all right but i think here that you might need to use a use your imagination or take a creative approach um at something in your world this weekend right you maybe it's something you can't quite you put your finger on it may something be something that requires some change for you okay or um you know you do need to take a different approach than what you've been taking already okay because that seven of cups can be about using your imagination but the seven of cups can also bring in some confusion right sometimes we're a little bit confused we're daydreaming about something or we're fantasizing about something and you know we're like hmm i'm just not sure um and maybe there's something here that you need to do some action that you need to take but you hesitate right in this because sometimes the seven of cups we get confused or we get a little bit wrapped up in fear, right? So we don't make a decision at all, okay? Um, or we might turn down something because we're, uh, we're uh, you know, thinking that, uh, I don't know if this is going to be for me. So just be aware that, that you might find an opportunity or you might stumble across something along your weekend that can actually be really exciting with that three of wands, but you might turn it down. Why? Because you're afraid of the outcome or you can't foresee the outcome, right? And sometimes we do need to take a little bit of a risk or face some fear, okay? Because really, if we're making decisions that affect our future, 
um, then sometimes we just need to listen to our intuition and listen to our heart and not just reject something. Okay, because if especially if you're required to make some changes or anything like that, it can be quite difficult, right? Like I'm not going to move forward with this because I'm not confident this is going to work out, right? Because you just can't see um, the future, right? You just can't see what's going to happen. So just be a little bit aware of that, that there might be something here where you're just a little bit doubtful of um, what may happen. Okay, and it's just because you've got that fear. And sometimes our imagination is a great thing, but sometimes our imagination keeps us stuck in a rut. All right, but we do have the tower coming in here for you. Okay, so expect the unexpected this weekend. Okay, um, and this is your advice from spirit, right? So um, this is saying this is a time of positive change for you. Expect the unexpected. Maybe there's something that does come in for you this weekend or something that happens in your world that you didn't expect, but trust it'll work out for the best because it's, you know, clearing out something that wasn't going to work anyway, whether it's, you know, whether it's some fears that are crumbling, okay, or whether you're just changing your outlook on something, there is some change that is required. And there's something required that require that, you know, is you need to let something go because there's something better coming in. Okay, so you might just be feeling especially if you're in the four of cups energy, you're feeling a little bit lost or you're not interested in things. Okay, and spirit says here, hey, we get, we're clearing out some of this energy, okay, so that you can see the potential of things, that you can do things a little bit better, okay, um, or that you can embrace some changes that may be on the horizon for you. The tower um, brings in surprises. So for some of you, spirit says, hey, heads up, four of cups, there's a surprise heading your way. Don't just turn it down, okay? Have a look and see what the potential is or what the possibilities is with this. And, you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Because, hey, maybe someone's giving you a gift or an invitation or something, and maybe it's not what you expected or it's not what you had been dreaming about, right? And so don't just turn it down. Don't just turn it away because it's still a gift, right? It's still something positive, right? And we don't want to reject those positive things, right? We don't want to put up our hand because we won't get the gifts again, okay? So you might need to kind of hmm, open up a little bit there in that. So with the tower, this can also represent that there's something not working in your life right now. There's something blocking or restricting you. And there's something here where you really do need to, um, you know, kind of turn the page, turn over a new leaf, look at things from a different perspective, okay? And be willing to let something go be willing to change your outlook and we've got the moon okay we've got the moon card here for you and this is blessings headed your way so something hidden may come to light and this is a blessing something may come in as a surprise right this is a blessing you might be processing some feelings some emotions bringing them out getting clarity on things it's a blessing things that have been hidden from you are revealed it's a blessing get the picture okay so this moon energy is bringing in you blessings okay things that are benefiting you the most okay so some of you you might get a little bit of an epiphany right your imagination may be very much on point you may be having dreams this weekend okay but they're showing you something they're highlighting something for you so don't just ignore the messages right the four of cups right there could be something there for you don't just ignore the messages the moon brings about heightened intuition this brings out some creative energy for you but it also can bring clarity to things that have previously been hidden in the shadows so your ability to see the potential or see the truth of things is very very important for you but the moon right the moon here make way the tower make way for new okay um you know dump some water out of your glass so you can add some ice and things that you want right um because the moon energy is strong and powerful all weekend it brings in this new energy right and we need to make room for the new we need to open up our hearts and uh you know try new things meet new people okay or set those intentions and think about what you want to attract into your life what do you want to change with the tower okay what do you want to change all right and you have the ability to do that but ultimately trust your intuition because it's your inner guidance system and your intuition is showing you something and there may just be some sort of revelation here but it's a surprise but not a surprise because you've kind of felt or sensed something happening and going on so but i think it's bringing you some better energy or better opportunities in some way okay so maybe you have some travel plans that get changed all right but it actually works out for the better right it's like a blessing in disguise that you may have there okay so work with the moon 
okay? Um, if something is hidden or elusive or something's not quite what it seems, I think you'll be figuring those things out and seeing things very clearly. All right, shining a light on something there. So uh, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out your weekly readings. Check out your new moon readings. Um, if they're not posted right at the, the very moment this video goes up, it'll be in the next 24 hours because um, the downloads are just taking a little bit longer. So anyways, so thank you, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.